I'm pretty sure you guys heard or even drink Fanta, Sprite and Mini Maid Puppy before. Do you guys know all of these brands are from Coca-Cola company? Yeah, you had it right. These large brands are all from Coca-Cola company. My name is Ayman as your handsome presenter today. So follow me as we fall deeper into Coca-Cola. Today, Coca-Cola International Enterprise is a great world distributor, marketer and supplier of Coca-Cola product. Did you guys know a multinational company simply means that an enterprise has its headquarters in one country, but it still has operation in many others. Coca-Cola has its headquarters in the US, but it has stretched its product to many other countries worldwide, making its market share to spread both at home and to other territories. You know, for mode of entry, Coca-Cola use foreign direct investment and franchising. Generally, the foreign direct investment can help the company develop a deeper relationship with government, customer and local suppliers at the same time improving their image in the target country because they create jobs. The first Coca-Cola bottling manufacturing factory was established at Beijing in 1981 to get the benefit from direct investment. Until now, there are 35 bottling companies and 29 manufacturing factory for Coca-Cola product in China. More than 30,000 people working in the Coca-Cola. 99% of the staff are Chinese local. Coca-Cola's franchising system dates back to 1889 when bottling right began to be sold to businessmen who were capable of large-scale bottling and thus were able to quickly expand the product into new markets. The Coca-Cola company produced syrup concentrate, then sell it to bottles around the world over 275 independent businesses with over 900 facilities at last count to hold an exclusive territory in which to bottle and sell the end product. Coca-Cola has secret recipes for its differentiation strategy and the company is making change to make people's taste and preference by reducing added sugar, making packages smaller, offering more drink with extra nutrition and hydrating benefit, and telling people what's going on. It has made a number of healthy products for people who care about their health, like health drink and juices. Do you guys know that Coca-Cola has more than 500 sparkling drinks from many different recipes. Yeah, you had that right. 500 type of drink is really mind-blowing, but even with that amount, only 80 drink that found its way to its consumer. Although that sounds like a customization technique Coca-Cola actually boosts with the standardized meter, this is due to the company's policy which creates the same taste beverage. However, Coca-Cola has their ways of attracting its customer by creating a new line of product market making a different type of product packaging design according to a culture, event, and size. We take as an example that in the USA, mostly the communities there drink alcohol. So, Coca-Cola introduced a new product called Topo Kiko, which includes alcohol to fulfill their consumer needs. In Malaysia, however, there are no changes in terms of product because of the non-alcohol communities. In terms of product packaging, there is a difference in every region because of the differences in culture aspect. For example, in many sovereign countries, there is a special edition packaging based on the festival that are occurred. For example, festivals like Christmas, ID50 celebration, and Chinese New Year have their own special edition design. In addition to the packaging, the sizes are also different in each country. In the US, there are 222ml and 591ml. This is different in Malaysia, where there are 320ml cans. Next, we move to the second P, which is pricing policy. Coca-Cola use market pricing policy. To be detailed, Coca-Cola use the strategy where they put their price on the same as their rival, which is Pepsi. In the USA, the price of 500ml bottles are one US dollar, the same as their rival, 
Malaysia also use the same strategy which is RM2 ringgit and 10 cent a bottle. As for international advertising, do you guys know there are two types of media? The first one is published media and secondly is visual media. In the USA, the internet is another medium where mainly Coca-Cola commercial may be found. As for visual media, Coca-Cola focuses on using the Twitter platform as their social media. Coca-Cola's main Twitter feed has 3.11 million followers and has tweeted 143,000 times which make it very active brand among others. It also has dedicated page for various products and sub brand including Diet Coke, Coke Zero and more. While for visual media, the USA use billboard as their medium to promote their brand's product. For example, they have the world first and largest 3D robotic billboard at Times Square, New York. Coca-Cola used the internet as their main platform to advertise their goods in Malaysia because poverty was prevalent in underdeveloped countries. Coca-Cola promote their goods through social media. For example, Coca-Cola used Facebook platform with currently almost 100 million likes. This is because Facebook gets more response and view from Coca-Cola fans in Malaysia with almost 2 million views per video. For visual media, Coca-Cola's utility is billboard to promote their goods. Malaysia billboards usually can be seen on the road. Since Malaysia Road of Elwes Gym, this is an advantage of the billboard when it is definitely read by the driver. The interesting part for advertising is Coca-Cola has no personal ambassador for each country, but they have chosen the hottest girl or boys group at the time from East Asia countries like Korea, Japan and China to be the idea, their ambassador or endorsement of the brands. As we say above, uh, the two boys group who are currently in the worldwide music card like BTS, the slogan they have been using for 70 years, open happiness, have been changed to test the feeling as part of a new plan to globally unite the company's brand. In order to promote their sale, Coca-Cola sponsor many of the biggest events in the world. For example, in the USA when Coca-Cola sponsor a sporting event, it usually refers ticket in some of their bottles and cans. This is a great promotion because it applies to many different social classes, from less fortunate people who may need to be able to offer ticket to event and buy Coca-Cola in order to try and win. This refers a fun and provide friendly competition among peers. In Malaysia, Coca-Cola has a cooperate agreement with McDonald's to sell soft drink alongside its popular burgers and fries. Thus, Coca-Cola is directly promoting its product to Malaysian consumer. Due to this cooperation, McDonald's Malaysia is giving free Coke Zero 1 liter with every McDonald's order. For in-store promotion, Coca-Cola is giving away free Coca-Cola Zero Sugar with a minimum purchase of 5 ringgit on their official shop in Shopee. Next public election, in terms of social Coca-Cola, is present in over 200 countries. The company actively collaborates with the United Nations. Coca-Cola joins the Battle Against AIDS in collaboration with the United Nations program on HIV AIDS. Coca-Cola and FIFA in the world's first commercial deal between the firm and international sports group in 1977. For channel of distribution in the USA, the component of Coke are well known. The specific recipe of Coca-Cola is keep secret. The firm makes it concentrate to sell its licensed bottles all over the world. The bottles then combine the concentrate with filter water and sweeteners to create the finished good in can and bottles. Bottles then sells, distribute, and the market to complete product to retail outlet, restaurant, gas station, news agent, corner store, and the other business. When in Malaysia, Coca-Cola merged with FNN Company to become FNN Coca-Cola Malaysia Sinabihat Certified Mana Estate Plant in Negeri Sembilan, which established a facility to produce and sell soft drink in Malaysia. Furthermore, Coca-Cola distributes its product through 7 to 11 shops hypermarket and retail supermarket, among other outlets. Because Coca-Cola cooperate partners with Malaysian business people to sell Coca-Cola, the business person may indirectly allow Coca-Cola to have a venue to promote their product throughout Malaysia. Furthermore, 
Coca-Cola Cooperation in the United States and Malaysia set out to implement the longest channel of distribution. This allows for a greater client reach to aid with market coverage, established distributor may connect into a network of merchants and other distributors. Worldwide agents specialize in distributing items in various parts of the world, allowing them to promote their product to a global audience. There is no doubt Coca-Cola is still one of the biggest F&B companies today because of the success of their business marketing mix around the world. As a result, they gain support from their local fans that always enjoy the good taste of Coca-Cola. Wait a minute guys, we have ordered Coca-Cola from DHL Delivery. Can you sign here, Mr. Thank you, DHL. <laughs>